Hello, hello, my lovely Libras. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Oh, leaves. Okay. I don't know why I'm like, leaves. I said, everything's okay. I, listen. <laughs> the box, the sustainer, the gem, the vow, and the kiss. I mean, the box is the idea of just, <sighs> You get out of one situation, you find yourself in another. Then you get out of one situation and you find yourself in another. You know what I mean? And I just kind of feel like, <sighs> I think of one of my leaves. Love you. <laughs> I know she won't mind, but she does it. She knows she does it. <laughs> But she will make a decision, like the decision that she wants to make. Like she knew she made, she wanted to make that decision months ago, right? <laughs> and she keeps talking about how she's going to make the decision. And then she sets a timeline for the decision. And then, you know, she, she changes the timeline. And you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, she never changes her mind on the, de on the decision, though. She just doesn't ever make the decision. <laughs> Not to say that she won't ever make the decision. Just to say that, like, that's a cycle. You know, like that's a a decision-making process that she goes through. <laughs> um, I love, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, but the sustainer is the idea of really having something that you can sustain, you know, a, a, for a lot of my leaves, you know, a relationship. And, and if this is one of those things where it's like, uh, you know, the whole cycle of and this is why it's like, it's super bothersome to like connect yourself with people um, when you're like dating that like, you're like, you don't, because you don't really know these people, you know what I mean? And so it's just kind of like, like you're like, you want to be in, but like also like how in do you really want to be? You don't know these people. <laughs> And so you're getting to know them, but like, also you, you believe in love and you want to be the person who believes in love. So you want to offer the space to like, believe in this love, but you already don't believe in it because you were already like, like you've already decided that you want to be somewhere else, but you just like, you just can't really just like shut the door. Once you open it, you'd like, you'd, there's this idea of like, but if you don't ever shut that door, you're never going to open any of the other doors. You're never going to experience you know, the value of a sustainable, like love, loving, romantic, committed relationship, because it's what you really want. But you can't seem to get there because you can't seem to shut the door. And the longer that door stays open, the smaller your out seems to be. And the harder it gets to make that decision because you made the decision so long ago and you've talked yourself into all the reasons why you need to postpone your decisions that you're making until you feel really, really stuck. Okay, leaves. Um, let's see what else we can get for y'all. <laughs> the eight of wands okay action <laughs> um <sighs> sometimes you just really have to step outside of yourself and recognize how it is that you're your own worst enemy right? We are all our own worst enemies. And sometimes it's hard for us to see that and acknowledge that in ourselves until we witness somebody else being their own worst enemy. And, and that is like a huge thing when you're like dealing with your family or, you know, like relationships or whatever, they all serve as mirrors back to us. And interestingly with family, usually everyone in the family is very different. Um, you know, and so when they're mirroring, mirror, mirror mirroring something back to you it's being mirrored back to you in a way that's different enough for it to be like oh you know like I saw that in them but now I see it in me you know like and now I need to deal with that 
you know, like, okay, well, if I can recognize how I'm being my own worst, worst enemy and I'm my own worst enemy because I have a really hard time making a decision because I will make my decision and then I will spend a year talking to myself about how I'm going to make this decision, allowing for this space for these people to like think that I'm here in this relationship with them when I've made this decision, you know, forever ago. Like, I don't like, there just feels like this, like this inability to make a decision when you've already made a decision that causes so much more, so many more issues than making a decision in the first place ever would have caused, you know, how am I my own worst enemy? We are all our own worst enemies in some form or fashion. This just seems to be your struggle right now. But there is an opportunity here for you to really, I think, go forward. I don't know. I just feel like you like you get out of the box. Something inspires you to make this decision. Maybe I feel like there is almost this idea, like you see something in somebody else and you're like, you're, you're going to be your own worst enemy in this. And then it, and it almost feels like this, like in saying this to somebody else, you are realizing this, like this is what you needed to hear for you, you know, like in having this conversation for them, you end up getting some insight from it that really, I think, activates this decision and the decision is to like do it like do what makes you happy because in an attempt to keep everybody happy you kept everybody unhappy for an extended period of time and then made them even more miserable in the end because temporary emotions are not should not be your primary point of focus Because when temporary emotions are your primary point of focus, then that's where you're focusing all of your energy and that's where you're developing these, these things. Um, you know, like, so you're busy developing something that you're already planning on leaving. And that's not, not a kind thing to do. You know, well, well they need, they, they're going through this right now. And you know, like they just, they, they need it, you know, but like, then you were that person who was there with them through all of that. And they didn't have, somebody else that they turn to because they turn to you. So they've developed an emotional connection that you've fostered. You actively participated in fostering that connection, knowing you didn't want that connection, right? So it's just kind of like, now that you have to like make this decision and break this connection, it's kind of like, well, Well, I don't know, because I kind of get the feeling that like, if there's, there's a reason for this action, it's almost like, well, because you didn't want to make the decision. So you wanted other people to just like continue in this indecision with you. And I feel like somebody looking at you and like being like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you can't be serious. Like I'm not carrying your baggage that you don't even want because you don't want to put it down because you don't want to hurt its feelings. Like, do you do realize that you're making it worse by dragging it out? And then, and then you want me to be the bad guy in that scenario for you on your behalf? Fuck all the way off. You know what I mean? And I just kind of feel like, like somebody makes this decision and, and I feel like it's like a wake up call of like seeing something, like something play out in your life and you see it play out differently in somebody else's life. And it makes so much more sense to you all of a sudden why you need to make a decision. Whew, leaps. <laughs> Maybe these hot springs are doing you good, BB. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> my friend called me yesterday. She was like, I'm in the hot springs. Do you wanna come down? Oh, I would but I can't of other, other things that I've already planned to do. Um, but uh, hot springs favorites. Y'all that water in real life. If you've never been to a hot spring in your life, it like people 
exit these springs looking 10 years younger and feeling like I've had this, I have like an autoimmune deficiency, so I have like a gutate psoriasis. So it's just like a localized rash on my leg from stress. And I've had it for a couple of years now. And like going to the hot springs has almost completely, like it, it looks so different. Hot springs are where it's at. <laughs> Little plug for nature. <laughs> but um, you have the fairy, the fortune fairy, the page of pentacles, the seven of cups and the five of swords. Again, just this idea of like rooting yourself in things that you don't really like. It's like you're rooting yourself in things that you don't like. You feel like you're missing out. You don't really want like this. This feels like it's causing more, more of a battle. And, and yet you're, you're rooting yourself into it more and more. I just feel like the sense of freedom, like being like your roots being clipped and now you're free to go. <sighs> <laughs> because there are things that you've promised yourself there's intimacy that you want to experience and, and a sustainable relationship that feels like it has real value to it um because in your attempt to make uh, make sure other people don't feel like they're not well, i don't want them to feel like they're not valuable or i don't want them to feel like they're not yeah like, we get it we get it you know but like but like do you not get that like that in the end like creates like a bigger disconnect of value than just saying we're not aligned this isn't gonna work <laughs> you know i don't know this is just and i do love my libras so very very much it is a real thing that libras struggle with <laughs> and i it, it has just never been my struggle you know, and there are things that I struggle with that some of my leaves would never struggle with. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying it is like a, a, a sense of superiority. We all have our strengths and we all have our weaknesses, right? That's why we need like teams of people because my strengths are not your strengths. Your strengths are not my strengths. You know what I mean? Like that's the whole point of a strong community. Not a judgmental one. Okay. The two of wands and the six of pentacles, but like ultimately, you know, when, when you're developed relationships or developed relationships that have really been developed on, on like the idea of you've already been checked out and you've already had one foot out, out the door, you know, and like what you've invested is ultimately a facade because, you know, like you weren't really there for me because you just, you just didn't want, you just kind of felt sorry for me. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't mean that I have value. That means that like, I don't have value because why were you feeling sorry for me? Like I couldn't have that from somebody else who really wanted to be here. Do you know what I mean? Like you got to really think outside of pity <laughs> and, and make some decisions to go in directions that like, I know you meant well, but like sometimes all times the road to hell is paved with good intentions, you know? So don't question your, your intention, question your logic, question like the long-term sustainability of something, question a little bit more than just, will this have an immediate, oh my God, I hurt your feelings, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Like it's okay to hurt people's feelings. It's better hurt, to hurt people's feelings sooner rather than later. You know what I mean? Like that, like that's, I... Because I feel like there is a question of like, what is it that you're actually loyal to? Are you loyal to placating people? Are you loyal to people pleasing? Are you loyal to finding purpose in other people? Um, or are you loyal to being the strongest that you can be so that you can be a part of a strong team? understanding like where you like where your shortcomings are where you struggle and how you can uh work around them you know because again the whole point of having it like a strong team is that like like we all have weaknesses and and the point is not to hide your weakness and that's a very like patriarchal societal like kind of mentality and approach to life 
that we all just are still trying to like wipe off of our energy, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, um, you know, like that it's okay to, to be, if you're in a safe place where people can, you know, say like, Hey, like, that's just like something that you struggle with, you know, but like, we all know it's a struggle. So we're here to help you when you struggle with that. You know what I mean? Like not to, you know, like criticize you for that, but I feel like you do have a strong team of people who do really want to like encourage you and, and hold you like hold it down for you when you need it held it down for you because you can't do everything Libra you know like you are a fucking rock star but you're like you can't sustain the universe and you need to be able to trust people um in your life with things um and that means surrounding yourself with people who you are actually committed to building with rather than surrounding yourself with people whose feelings you don't actually want to hurt because you know I don't really want to be here <laughs> um I'm just here because I don't want to I don't want anybody's feelings to get hurt like do you hear how that sounds though um that's not what you're loyal to you know um, and, and so I feel like you're, you're changing directions. I feel like you got a, like a mirror image of something that really, I feel like inspired you to go ahead and make your decisions because when you make those decisions, that's when you're going to be able to really engage in what it is that you actually want. That's when you're actually going to be able to create what you want out of life. Who is it that you're trying to be? I don't think that you're trying to be the person that you are right now. And I don't say that with judgment or like, oh, you need to be better. I think that we all go through cycles. I love this. The snake, you, you shed your skin. You know what I mean? Like uh, that is the old me. I am, that is no longer who I am, you know? And it's just kind of like, I feel like you are shedding your skin, but in order to shed your skin, you had to understand what it was that was dying that needed to be let go. Good job leaves. Hey. <laughs> I love this read. I hope it does resonate. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, please do leave it for somebody who it did resonate with. These are general reads. I am doing personal reads. If you would like to book a personal read, please click the link in my bio below or description box below. Um, if this is where we part ways, thank you so much for spending some time with me, for sharing your energy with me. This is another big read. Um, I'm, my reads feel like they're getting a little bit longer, but I'm, I'm here for it. Um, I'm, I would like to, to, dive deeper into these reads. Um, but yeah, I will be doing extended reads soon, but that'll probably be like next week. Um, and then yeah, I'll see y'all again soon. Bye.